Not enough ice this year, uh, but it is Derby weekend and we got to be out here somewhere. 47 degrees on February 12th at noon. Spring-like conditions mean more open water than ice on New Hampshire's largest lake. But as the marquee says, the Derby is on. Diehards are missing their souped-up bob houses this year, though. No hot tub, though, and yeah, no, more no, no pool ice. table. Organizers say ticket sales are down slightly this year, but 44 years and counting, they've never canceled. Cancel? Well, that would be heresy. No, they'll never cancel this. Yeah, never yeah. cancel Close. this. A couple times. Postpone, never cancel it. Surprise, surprise, they call this the fish board. All the leading contenders hang here. Competitors get to decide whether they want to take their fish home or donate it to the Sea Science Center as a yummy meal for some other wildlife. So you can see the seven species okay. and the heaviest fish in those seven species, that angler's name goes into a hat, okay? So what's good about it is they can fish any species. It doesn't deplete one species, and it makes all the fishermen eat on an even playing field. It's real money at stake, $15,000 for the grand prize. Proceeds go towards scholarships, nonprofits, and fish and game for restocking efforts. Tell me what you caught. Uh, rainbow trout. Nick Hughes nabbed a nearly three pounder at sunrise. Lips are sealed though on what he uses for bait. Can't give away any trade secrets. But he did confess this beauty was caught on Squam. Traditionally, he and his son fish Winnipesaukee, but the open water sent them hunting for ice. The Meredith Rotary Club has raised $2.6 million over the life of this event. It gives us the opportunity to give back to the community, which is uh, what the, the goal and mission is of the, of the great Meredith Rotary Fishing Derby. In Meredith, Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.